sometimes you need a bit of the oldies to remember why you love the thing you do. Hey guys, so we're back. Supernatural is back and so am I with the latest review of the latest episode of Supernatural. Now this was a filler episode admittedly because it starts off with, we're gonna do it. Well, we've got Bupkiss. Well, there's this. That aside, this was actually, at first I thought it was going to kind of just be a gimmick episode, but it was actually a very cool episode for two reasons. One was the parallel storyline with Bobby and Rufus working on a case years before, basically, actually, if I'm correct, season four timeline, and then Sam and Dean basically following in their footsteps with the, sim with the same creature years later, and then trying to figure out what they did, and then trying to improve on that. Now, the creature that they're after was a soul eater. It very much reminded me of the episode of the, the, the Jinji from the end of season two. And then there was the creature, I think it was in the first season. It might have been the first season or the second season. There was that creature that was living off of the souls of young children and they were in hospital and dying and whatnot. I remember those. So that's what a lot of this episode reminded me of, those two first seasons. And I really actually enjoyed this episode. At first it was a kind of a little bit slow, there was a lot of gimmick jokes. Immediately Rufus was hilarious, he had two, well, two moments in this episode. The first being, well, what, what business is the FBI here for? Well, the, none, the kind is the none of your damn business! And that, I, I probably flubbed it, but that was really fine. Uh, that was funny. A part of the end where Rufus is faced with a threat and he's literally about this far away from the threat and he has a shotgun and he fires and he clearly misses he clearly misses from this much of a distance but as for the episode itself i really did enjoy the parallel storyline it actually had to make me really focus and there's been a lot of going on in the last little while so this actually was a very deep episode despite the fact that it was kind of mirroring what was going on and then the editing for going into the nest. Now the thing that they said about the Soul Leader is that it exists in a plane that is beyond time and space. So this is probably the closest Supernatural is ever going to get to uh, interstellar level uh, ideologies here. But either way, I actually really liked it when they went into the nest. That was the only way that one person had to be in reality while the other had to be in the other dimension, timeline, whatever, to help defeat the creature. And it really reminded me of the camera work, lighting, and sort of atmosphere that they use in Insidious. Insidious is a fantastic horror film because it uses very minor, very low budget techniques to put yourself into the demon or the dark zone. And that's exactly what Supernatural did. And I liked it. It actually went a little bit taboo, more so in a much more sophisticated way, a lot more uh, mystery, especially with all the other souls. They didn't explain who they were. You kind of assumed that they were victims of the Soul Eater, but they weren't really explained. They had this weird kind of clasp on their mouth. While the episode kind of runs by the numbers, I did enjoy it. I actually found that this episode really didn't forward the story at all. It didn't, honestly. But, and I didn't mind that. I actually thought the episode was very entertaining, and it's a very cool episode, especially the ending. I won't give away the ending, but there was something that happened at the end that was deep for Supernatural. And then it was written off with a joke, which was a very good joke. But either way, I thought this episode was very entertaining. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, and considering I was a bit upset that it wasn't the episode that they kept on talking about in the previews, especially with the ads, like something in a, something in a cabin, that's in the next episode. So in the end, I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 7. I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I'm very surprised. Very great return. I'm happy to see the show back, and I can't wait to talk about it more with you guys. And if you didn't notice, this is my latest cup to my collection. Yes, it's a play off of that terrible, terrible saying, but I thought it was too awesome to pass up. So anyway, guys, I'll see you next week with my next review.
yeah, uh, another thing too. Um, there was the nicest, cleanest looking Pontiac Sunfire I've ever seen. Bobby and Rufus were leaving the, what's it, leaving their motel and there was this Pontiac Sunfire in the parking lot. It just stuck out like a sore thumb. I don't know why it just stuck out. 